What is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today, oh, there's some deer. Today we are out on the MXZ 800. This is probably one of the only times I'll get out this year. I'm just showing it off to you guys. Don't mind the dirt. I wanted to do some more content with it this year, but we really haven't had the snow for it. So today we're going to uh, just go for a little ride. And I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you how I'm liking it because uh, I just got this thing at the beginning of the season, and I haven't got to take it out that much. So first off, this is a 2002 MXZ 800. Man, look at that sunset. It originally started off as a typical length track snowmobile either a 121 127 129 something around there and it was converted into a 144 which is pretty sweet so now it can handle the deep powder a little bit better the person i bought it from used to take it uh somewhat out west like the up of michigan and then up north to maine so it's pretty interesting. It's it's uh, lived a pretty interesting life. And overall, it's a pretty sweet sled. But today we're just uh, doing a little test of it. So it's got an MBRP trail can on it, which I think sounds pretty cool. I don't think it's too obnoxiously loud. And I don't think it... Uh, Oh my gosh. Man, this is neat, but this is also rough. I don't think it's too obnoxiously loud. Man, I've never ridden over here before. This is very interesting. I wish the trail had a little bit more snow though, but there's really not a lot uh, not a lot I can do about that, I suppose. So uh, like I was saying, the two biggest uh, biggest modifications that it has are the 144 inch track and the MBRP can other than that I mean typical older two-stroke snowmobile it's been rebuilt it has a new clutch uh, it's got a little over 4,000 miles on it so nothing too crazy but uh, it's been very well maintained throughout its life uh, this riding that I'm doing on it right now is probably the worst conditions it's seen in a long time man there's a lot of deer out today Definitely don't want to hit one of those on this. Man, this trail is nice. The conditions are, oh my gosh, more deer? The conditions aren't too bad for the most part, but man, this is so many deer. I have never seen this many deer while snowmobiling before. So overall, I really do like the sled. It's got a, a lot of power, and I honestly do mean a lot of power. It's uh, honestly more power than I need, really. The one time that I did take it out this year, which uh, you guys will see in a later video, the power really did come in handy because man there was a lot of powder and it was it was deep I was uh, I was a little nervous I was gonna get stuck especially because I was by myself but uh, this thing powered right through it and I could not ask for anything more really I was so impressed by it if it was a little bit smaller of a sled with a little bit smaller of a track I don't think the outcome would have been nearly the same. For that, I'm very glad because it was starting to get dark and it would have been rough trying to get it out by myself. 
Once you get to the main trails now, it's actually pretty nice. The problem is just getting to the main trails depending on what area you're coming from. This thing runs amazing. I'm so happy with how well it runs. Anyways guys, Thank you so much for watching this video of me showing off my uh, my new to me 2002 MXZ800 trying to enjoy what little bit of the snowmobiling season is left pretty much today but uh, I want to thank you guys for watching and if you want to see any more snowmobiling content let me know and I'll try to uh, I'll try to do that some more especially for next year I have a couple of videos coming after this that are definitely going to involve some snowmobiling just because it's a little hard to make motorcycle content right now. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and a great rest of uh, whatever riding season you guys are in right now. Thank you. And what a perfect sunset to uh, cap it off.